Muslim mosques and military bases in America? The mosques are our barracks, the domes are helmets, the minarets are bayonets, and the faithful are soldiers. This brought to you by yours truly, the Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan. Now, recently I was watching a video of former FBI agent John Guandolo talking about the Islamic terror attacks in America that have taken place since September 11, 2001. During his exposition on Islamic terror within American borders, he brought up the question as to what would you think if a foreign country established military bases here in America? Well, the fact of the matter is there are over 35 jihadi terror training camps right here in America. These groups are responsible for over 50 terrorist attacks on American soils, and yet no one is talking about this? Fox News broadcast this on February 16th of 2009. It's a frightening thought, Islamic terrorist training camps right here in America, in our backyards. The group Muslims of America, or Jamaat al fruqa as they're called in Pakistan, have established over 35 communities across the U.S. The group claims to be peaceful, but a videotape uncovered by the Christian Action Network shows that they can have a much more sinister side. Folks, Muslims are establishing not only terror camps in America, but they are also establishing mosques in America, which, by the way, are the same thing. See, it's a sign of conquering, and as you know, out of their own mouths, the Muslims are not coming into America to assimilate. They are simply here in an attempt to dominate. Furthermore, this is what they are taught to do through the teachings of the Quran. It's the nature of Islam to dominate, not to be dominated, to impose its laws on all nations and to extend its power to the entire planet. This was said by Hassan Alabana. Omar Ahmad, the founder of the Council on American Islamic Relations said, Islam isn't in America to be equal to any other faith, but to become dominant. The Quran is the highest authority in America, and Islam is the only accepted religion on earth. Mustafa Carroll, care director of Houston, Texas said that if we are practicing Muslims, we're above the law of the land. What's even more disturbing is that the number of mosques in the United States have jumped up to 74% since September 11, 2001. The U.S. survey in 2011 counted a total of 2,106 as compared to 1,209 in the year 2000. As of 2016, there as many as 3,000 mosques in America with a total number of 3.3 million Muslims residing in this country. The slow siege, of course, Deuteronomy 28 verse 43, comes on the heels of the CIA-controlled media doing their lying best to sell Muslims on the heels of the homosexuals that are being used to help upend American sovereignty to the American people not only as the victims, but also the advocators of a peaceful religion. Uh, first of all, I find it absolutely astounding that a former assistant director of the FBI would say that Islam is a more violent religion than most other religions. If you look at The victims? The religion of peace? Really? Folks, below are some verses taken directly from their book of peace called the Quran. And slay them whenever you come upon them and expel them from where they expelled you. Persecution is more grievous than slain, but fight them not by the holy mosque and tell that they should fight you there. Then if they fight you, slay them. Such is the recompense of unbelievers. Let not the believers take unbelievers for friends, rather than the believers. For whoso does that belongs not to God in anything, unless you have a fear of them, God warns you that you beware of them, and unto God is the homecoming. Shut the Quran commands that you disavow and make hatred and enmity between democracy, between nationalism, between secularism. Who 
whosoever desires another religion than Islam, it shall not be accepted of him. In the next world, he shall be among the losers. This is the recompense of those who fight against God and his messenger and hasten about the earth to do corruption there. They shall be slaughtered or crucified, or their hands and feet shall be alternately be struck off, or they shall be banished from the land. This is a degradation for them in this world, and in the world to come awaits them a mighty chastisement. The Quran says very clearly in the Arabic language, language, Torhibuna. This means terrorize them. It's a command from Allah. I am with you, so confirm the believers. I shall cast into the unbelievers hearts terror, so smite above the necks and smite every finger of them. And prepare against them whatever you are able of power and of steeds of war by which you may terrify the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others besides them who do not know but whom Allah knows. And whatever you spend in the cause of Allah will be fully repaid to you and you will not be wronged. We're commanded to terrorize the disbelievers and this is a religion like I said. O Prophet, urge on the believers to fight. If there be 20 of you, patient men, they will overcome 200. If there be a hundred of you, they will overcome a thousand unbelievers, for there are people who understand not. Slay the idolaters wherever you may find them, and take them, and confine them, and lay in wait for them at every place of ambush. We tell you Muslims to rise up! Christians and Jews are perverted. God assail them. Oh, how they are perverted. Oh, believers, fight the unbelievers who are near to you, and let them find you in harshness, and know that God is with the God-fearing. It is that jihadist version of Islam which allows them to conclude the killing of American soldiers overseas is justified that the attack of 9-11 was also justified, and then an attack on almost any American is justified. But those who disbelieve will have cut out for them garments of fire. Poured upon their heads will be scalding water. So when you meet those who disbelieve in battle, strike their necks and tell when you have inflicted slaughter upon them, then secure their bonds. I love Osama bin Laden. I, wallahi, I love him <laughs> like I, I can't begin to tell you because I haven't seen that he's really done anything wrong from the Sharia. I love him like more than more than I love myself. Now let's do that which Jesus Christ commanded us to do. Let's look to the fruit of these people because the Bible tells us in Matthew 7, 16, you shall know them by their fruits. What is the fruit of the religion of peace, namely Islam? Islamic terrorists detonate a massive truck bomb under the World Trade Center, killing six people and injuring over 1,000 in an effort to collapse the towers. A Muslim psychiatrist guns down 13 unarmed soldiers while yelling praises to Allah? Foreign-born Muslims describing themselves as very religious detonate two bombs packed with the ball bearings and the Boston Marathon, killing three people and causing several more to lose limbs. An Islamic extremist massacres 49 people at a gay nightclub.
It amazes me how Americans are trying to figure out how all of this is happening to their country when scripture is very clear in the matter as to why. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their bondmen. And I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you to go upright. But if you will not hearken or listen carefully unto me and will not do all of my commandments, and if you shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments so that you will not do all of my commandments, but that you break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will appoint over you terror. On Islam, John Wesley, the former famous field prophet, said ever since the religion of Islam appeared in the world, the espousers of it have been as wolves and tigers to all other nations rending and tearing all that fell into their merciless paws and grinding them with their iron teeth that numberless cities are raised from the foundation and only their name remaining that many countries which were once as the garden of god are now a desolate wilderness and that so many once numerous and powerful nations are vanished from the earth such was and is at this day the rage the fury the revenge of these destroyers of humankind.